Interpretation of the Holy Quran. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful. With the help of Allah, we have started to have a brief interpretation of Quran, and we reach to chapter Falak. Please listen to verse one to three. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. قل أعوذ برب الفلق من شر ما خلق ومن شر غاسق إذا وقب. الله تبارك وتعالى says قل أعوذ برب الفلق say I seek refuge in the Lord of the Down من شر ما خلق from the evil of what He has created ومن شر غاسق إذا وقب and from the evil of the utterly dark night when it comes. In last session, we talked about first and second verse of this chapter. And we talk a little about the third one, وَمِنْ شَرَّ قَاسِقٍ إِذَا وَقَبْ We take refuge to Allah from the darkness of the night when it comes. We said, Many dangerous things will happen in the night. Unfortunately, the criminals, sinners, when they want to attack most of the time, they plot a plan to attack in the night. So we take refuge to Allah from the darkness. But it is good to know that at the same time that many sinners are committing sin and disobey Allah in the night, at the same time, many people who are very close to Allah, they wake up in the night and they say midnight pray and talk to the Lord. So night is the best for some people who are close to Allah, religious people, because this is the best time to worship Allah and for some criminals are the best. In chapter Ali Imran, verse 113, Allah tabarak wa ta'ala says, يَتْلُونَ آيَاتِ اللَّهِ آنَاءَ اللَّيْلِ وَهُمْ يَسْجُدُونَ They recite. Allah is talking about people who are pious, religious people. They recite Allah's communications in the night time and they adore Him. They prostrate and they enjoy when in the night people are sleeping and they talk to the Lord and cry. So, night is good for some people to talk to Allah. And for some people, criminals, unfortunately, is good to commit sin. Allah has ordered us to take refuge to him when we find some problems, when we see something dangerous. And it is good to know that if Allah has ordered us to take refuge to him, definitely he must give the refuge and he must give shelter to us when we take refuge to him. Otherwise, it's useless to order somebody to come and ask me for help, to take refuge to him, and Allah will not give any shelter. Definitely, he is the one who gives fence and who gives shelter to us. Otherwise, his order will be repeal. Among all the evils, all the vices, Allah has mentioned three different de evils in these chapters. One, Allah Taala says, 
from the evil of hidden or darkness in the night when it comes utterly dark night when it comes this is one the another one min sharrin nafasat fil uqad from the evil of bad tongue some people use their tongue in a very bad way they bring the problems in the society among the families and from the evil of those who blow on knots blow on knots it means they will try to find something in the community or in the family and they will backbite here and there and they will make a situation worse and worse so we say to allah that we take refuge to you from the evil of those who blow on knots it means they make the problems worse and worse this is the second one and the third one allah tabaraka ta'ala says min sharri hasidin the last verse of this chapter wa min sharri hasidin is a hasad it means from the evil of the envious when he envies a person who cannot see that other people have blessings of allah he tries his best to destroy their blessings their facilities he cannot he has a competition with others but negative competition positive competition is wonderful my friend is a good person i want to be better than him that is wonderful he is a religious person i want to worship allah more than him this is positive competition and it is recommended but negative one it means he doesn't want to see anything good about his friends his family so sometimes he tries to destroy good attributes or good deeds for his friends or his family this is the one that we call it as a jealousy as we understood allah tabaraka wa ta'ala said three he mentioned especially three different evils qasiqan iza waqab utterly dark night when it comes and nafasat fil uqad it means who blow on knots and use his tongues in a wrong way and hasidin is a hasad it means evil of the envious when he envies we take refuge to allah in all situation even when we want to recite quran which is the best wonderful and it is perfect still we are recommended to take refuge to allah allah says in chapter nahl verse 98 fa iza qara'ta alquran fasta'iz billahi minash shaytanir rajim say when you recite the quran seek refuge with allah from the accursed shaitan it means even we can recite quran in a way that we will be cursed rubbatan lil quran wal quran yal anu a person who recites quran to show off a person who recites quran to humiliate somebody else so the intention is very important and it should be pure this is the reason that even if we recite quran which is very good deed still we should take refuge to allah <laughs>
about it in next session we will see that Allah Taala is talking about inside evil and retain evil in next chapter we talked about we take refuge to Allah from something that inside inside our heart will make some problems he doesn't let our heart to be strong so this is inside evil in this chapter in that chapter we will see that we take refuge to Allah by different ways we said we take refuge to the Lord of the people Malik Nas King of the people Ilah Nas it means God himself so in next chapter since we are taking refuge to Allah from internal evil which is much more dangerous and more difficult comparing to outside evil we take refuge to Allah three times we say قُلْ أَوْذُ بِرَبِّ النَّاسِ مَلِكِ النَّاسِ إِلَاهِ النَّاسِ because the enemy is so bad وَسْوَسَ is terrible it means we cannot be stable even our thinking is not stable sometimes God forbid and even about Allah Taala, and shaitan is going to do such a thing inshallah in the next section I am going to talk about it but here the evils are out from outside only one time we say so in chapter of falaq we take refuge to one attribute of Allah Rabbil falaq but in chapter Nas, we take to three different attributes of Allah. It is good to know that we should take refuge to Allah from bad tongue. Bad tongues may hurt the family and destroy a family. We will understand when Allah says to the Prophet, قُلْ أَعُوذُ بِرَبِّ الْفَلَقِ even the end the prophets should take refuge to Allah because the gen dangerous things is dangerous and evil is evil for them and they should take refuge to Allah as we should take we will understand also that the improvement of ourselves and our society will not happen unless by taking refuge to Allah and we have understood that when we ask Allah to help us we should take refuge to him from anything bad we should not say only this issue or that issue our prayer should be very wide please listen to verse 4 and 5 Allah Taala says, "Women shall not fall short of the Ogad, and from the evil of those who blow on knots. Women shall be hasid in Iza Hasad, and from the evil of the envious when he envies." What is nafasat? Nafasat from nafase means to blow and Oqad is a plural word from Aqade it means knot or tie some people they try to bring negative propagation they, they talk about against different people different jobs different situation and as it is their attributes Allah Taala says, "These people are dangerous people. That we should take refuge to Allah from such a people, like those people who are gossip. Sometimes intelligences, 
those people who are making rumors bring the lies in the community make lies and backbites people we should take refuge to Allah and nafasati fil uqad Allah says those who blow on knots it is like metaphor it means by their tongue as they blow when they make a problem in the society as they blow on the fire when a person blow on the fire it makes it worse so these people see the fire in the community and they blow on that in chapter baqarah verse 102 allah tabarak wa ta'ala is talking about some people who makes problem between husband and wife فَيَتَعَلَّمُونَ مِنْهُمَا مَا يُفَرَّقُونَ بِهِ بَيْنَ الْمَرْءِ وَزَوْجِهِ Even then, men learned from these two magic by which they might cause a separation between a man and his wife. So, these people have learned the magic to make a problem between husband and wife. It is good to know that one example of nafasat is magic. We said nafasat means to blow or not to bring the problem. To use the magic, it means this is one example that we should take refuge to Allah from those people who have such an ability. It is possible to have a relation with jinn or to do magic it is possible but in islam it is forbidden to learn and it is forbidden forbidden to use it it is our duties our responsibility to bring the peace in the family not to bring the problems inshallah in next session i would like to talk about the last verse when Allah says the women sharra hasidin is a hasad. I would like to talk about jealousy, which is a very, very important issue. We should know that it is a very bad sickness. We should know what it is, how it hurts us, and how to cure it. Thank you very much for watching. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.